Hello and welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Maybe you're one of the many people who've tried to purchase a home recently but found that housing market, well, let's just say less than yeah. friendly. Maybe the answer can be found by looking inward, as in the inside of your home, by remodeling or taking on a renovation project. Right. Making the right home improvements can really increase your property's value. And that's what the show is all yeah. about today. We're here in this beautiful home in Florida to show you what can be done with just a little bit of cash. Plus, we've got some other goodies for you as well. Of course. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, while we're in the kitchen, let's remodel. Okay, done. Maybe something a little bit more. Okay, well, you know, when you remodel something like the kitchen, you're not only making it more functional, you're making it look great, right. but you're also increasing the value of your home. Exactly. Here's Aaron West with the story. You saved up and are now ready for a new kitchen remodel project. You've enjoyed cooking, and now you have the opportunity to have a kitchen your way. Among the many considerations, there's one important component often overlooked. How do you plan to ventilate? Designing Spaces decided to take a closer look. To get the facts on kitchen ventilation, we have with us Frank Brees from Fuji Industrial USA. Welcome to Designing Spaces, Frank. Thanks, Erin. It's a pleasure to be here. So, what are the requirements of kitchen ventilation? Those vary by the application, Erin. It uh, depends basically on the type of cooktop and the type of cooking that the customer is going to do, whether he's using an electric cooktop, a gas, or an induction, and whether or not they're going to use a wood hood like we see here today or just a traditional range hood of some sort. Also, if you do not have the application to vent out of the house, then your final application would basically be recirculating the air and smoke back into the home. And in that case, you would have to use a charcoal filter to filter out the uh, odor out of the cooking surface. Could you show us some examples of ventilation products? Sure, Aaron. And this unit right here is one of the smaller units, and basically this will handle most electric cooktops and most of the smaller induction cooktops. This unit here is one of the units that we talked about for the roof type and the inline blowers, where you don't have a lot of room uh, from constraints on building and so forth, that this unit does not have a motor in it. You'll notice it's much smaller and condensed because it just has an outlet with the light controls and the filters on the front of the unit. Um, our unit, we're the only people in the industry that basically puts a clear powder coat that we bake over our stainless steel on our front panels and all of our stainless liners. It makes it very, very easy to clean. You just take a warm washcloth or a sponge, wipe it off, and dry it, and that's all you, you never have to worry about stainless polish. This particular unit is our pro style unit. It's 670 CFM. It's geared for the professional cooktop gas uh, high end type cooking. Uh, basically, 670 CFM. It has the commercial baffle filters as an option installed. In addition to that, all of our units basically come with backdraft dampers. This automatically stops the cold air from coming back into the household. There's uh, basically three types of filters you'll see in infiltration. You'll see an aluminum mesh or an aluminum slotted filter like this. Uh, we talked earlier about the recirculating back into the home when you couldn't exhaust out of the home. This is an activated charcoal filter. This filter actually then would be placed behind the grease filter to catch the odors and remove it from the cooking smoke. And then, of course, we have more of an upscale professional-style baffle filter that is designed to catch way more grease, basically for real heavy cooking. Um, it, a little more of an upgrade, but certainly worth it for people who are more on the professional side of cooking and, and do a lot of grilling and barbecuing. What are some of the features of range heads? Aaron, there's a number of different uh, options that you can get when you pick out uh, kitchen ventilation. You'll notice that these slide out for spice rack applications. Uh, they're also available where you can have this not only on the bottom but also on the top. 
uh, stained glass inserts, glass doors like we have here on the side. They can also get into very exotic woods, rosewood, uh, you know, Brazilian hardwoods. It's only limited really by the customer and the designer's imagination. So in designing our new kitchen, there may be some restrictions, right? There's a number of restrictions that can cause exactly the type of ventilation and how you can ventilate out of the house. Uh, given an example like we have here today, if this hood went straight up to the, to the ceiling and directly above that ceiling there was an open crawl space that you could go to the roof, you could then vent straight to the roof and not have a problem. However, in a lot of today's homes, when we have island applications or in the location of where the stove is actually placed, directly above that may wind up being a master bedroom or a master bath, which would not allow you to go that way. Also, there's some very tricky framing that gets involved with some two-story homes and different types of tricky construction that would, would basically interfere with the run of the pipe. So Fuji will supply to their customers a series of two-dimensional drawings at no charge. I know our audience is going to want more information. Where can they go? You can contact us at Fujio.com, F-U-J-I-O-H.com, and they can see our complete line of products that we offer, blowers, liners, wood hoods, range hoods, and copper hoods. Thank you for joining us on Designing Spaces today, Frank. And thanks to Fuji Industrial USA for all their incredible insights. For Designing Spaces, I'm Erin West. Okay, after seeing that, I'm ready to do some bathroom and kitchen remodeling. What's oh, next? All right. Well, what's next is you got to put down your tools because we are out of time. Really? Mm -hmm. What about the garage? The garage? That's going to be on the next show. Oh, okay. Well, you'll have to join us next week for some great tips on improving your home and lifestyle. Until next time, we'll see you on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.